Battle of the Books, Sapphire Editions, and the Hooligans. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, I'm back, and uh, pretty sure my gums are bleeding right now. And I left my backpack at home. If you have Miss Ulrich today, please take study material and meet in the collaboration room too. On Thursday, the old tennis court parking lot will be barricaded off due to the convocation. Please do not park in the side parking lot or the old tennis courts on Thursday. Battle of the Books will take place today from 5 to 7 in the cafeteria. Pizza will be served and one team will advance to the county competition. Participants are welcome to stay in the library after school. Please bring your team's books. Sapphire auditions will be held the first week of March in the band room. Any students interested in dance or color guard should attend a call-out meeting this Friday in room 107. Contact Mrs. Lovis, Mrs. Bacon, or a current Sapphire with any questions and sign up for auditions outside room 107. There will be a Hooligans Improv show this Saturday at 7 in the theater. Look forward to fun and games. I'm pretty sure you don't want to miss it. Today for lunch is 1 and 2 tacos, line 3 soup and salad bar with chicken and rice soup, line 4 a potato bar or stuffed crust pizza, and line 5 is closed. A happy birthday goes out to Aleli Alanis Regalado, Giselle Bartolo Gomez, Jade Hardesty, Yasmin Hernandez Saavedra, and Wendy Samarone. Now let's send it over to Chris with weather. The high today is 32 and the low is 19. It is supposed to snow all day today. Here is the quote of the day. In brightest day there will be light to cleanse the soul and set wrongs right. When darkness falls, look to the skies. Now to Lathan with sports. Thanks, Chris. For sports today, we don't have much to report on. However, a reminder to all girls planning to play softball this spring, off-season conditioning is Monday and Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m., and indoor practices in Ox are Tuesday and Thursday from 7 to 8.30. Uniforms and helmets need to be ordered before the season starts, and the official start date is March 9th, which means physicals need to be turned in and final forms and information needs to be completed. To get items ordered, you need to make an appearance in the next few days or probably by the end of the week. Finally, the boys' basketball teams fell to Westfield last night. We don't have any other information for you at the moment, but you can check the website later on today to see a full report. The team then travels to Delphi on Friday to face the Oracles. That's it for Sports Today. Now back to your hosts. Good luck to all the 16 Frankfurt DECA members competing at the Indiana DECA State Competition March 1st through 3rd. Good luck to Ivan Santos as he runs for the Indiana DECA Region 2 President. Bring home the glass. Anyways, this week's Be DECA Backpack Buddies Weekend Menu was created by first-year member Allison Pyle. Thank you, Allison, for creating this week's menu that helps in feeding Frankfurt Elementary and Middle School students. Everyone is invited to the annual fish fry at the St. Mary's Catholic Church. It will be held, during, held every Friday during Lent from February, February 28th to April 10th, 4.30 to 7 p.m. Carryouts are available, being only $10 and $5 for kids 12 and under. There will be a variety of foods from fish, baked potatoes, desserts, and more. That's all from us at HDTV. Make sure to tune in next time for the latest news and updates. Also, on this day in history, President Wilson learns of the Zimmerman Telegraph. Telegram. Telegram. <laughs> <laughs>